January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, and according to a study released late last year, late-stage cervical cancer appears to be on the rise. Dr. Robert DeBernardo with Cleveland Clinic says that could be due in part to the pandemic and the change in guidelines for pap smears. Before, women were told to get them done annually. Now it's every three years and in some cases every five years. Because of that, doctors say it's easier to lose track of when your last pap smear was. Dr. DeBernardo says cervical cancer is preventable and is often the result of the sexually transmitted virus HPV. So testing for that and getting the HPV vaccine are both important. We developed a vaccine years ago, there's several on the market, that are extremely effective at preventing cancer. Um, in Australia, where uptake of vaccines are high, they're seeing a decrease in the amount of cervix cancer in that country. Men and women between the ages of 11 and 45 years old can get that vaccine. According to the CDC, there are roughly 13,000 new cases of cervical cancer every year in the U.S., in addition to 4,000 deaths.